Good morning, everyone. Well, have you ever watched a school of fish in an aquarium swimming along? Sometimes they swim along in one direction, and suddenly they shift direction for no apparent reason, apparent to humans at least. Um, that's sort of what the FX market's been uh, like recently. On Wednesday, the market just shifted from risk off to risk on at about 10 a.m. New York time. Yesterday, on Thursday, the market was in risk on mode during European trading, then just despite better than expected U.S. indicators, the mood suddenly shifted to risk off at around 10.40 a.m. New York time. Both times, investors were left uh, scratching their heads and looking for an after-the-fact explanation of why this happened. As I mentioned yesterday, I found it difficult to explain a shift to risk on, but uh, in the, uh, given the way that things are going nowadays, there's no shortage of explanations for a shift to risk off. Yesterday, Russia announced new military operations in at least three regions along Ukraine's eastern border. Uh, that drew a sharp response from German Chancellor Merkel and from U.S. Secretary of State Kerry. To make matters worse, on a totally separate uh, point, Reuters reported that many banks in China have cut loans to certain sectors with overcapacity. Uh, that will, of course, dampen growth there. So the risk on tone evaporated and the market turned to a flight to safety which nowadays means a rush into dollars. The dollar again gained against nearly every currency we track, both in the G10 and in the emerging markets. The only notable exception was the yen, which gained around 1% against the surging dollar. Oddly enough, some other safe havens didn't benefit that much. Dollar swiftly moved slightly higher, and gold fell a little bit. Now, but overall, this is the kind of movement that I had been, I'd been expecting to see. This makes sense to me in the current uh, geopolitical and economic situation. The risk on trade didn't make sense to me. I expect risk off trades to dominate for the time being, with the strongest military power, the U.S., being the ultimate safe haven. Uh, on the other hand, Europe, whose trade connections with Russia are much stronger than the U.S.'s, is likely to be hit harder. The high beta currencies, uh, the Swedish krona, Norwegian krona, and the Australian dollar seem particularly vulnerable. Well, the yen, I think, is likely to be the main beneficiary because the Swiss franc can only rise to the extent that the euro rises and the euro isn't likely to rise too much. In fact, the euro dollar was depressed by ECB President Draghi yes, yesterday after, he, as he said, that the currency strength was, quote, becoming increasingly relevant in the ECB's assessment of price stability, unquote. Draghi is uh, perhaps concerned that the market didn't get the hint from last week's ECB press conference when he mentioned that the exchange rate is very important for growth and price stability because a high euro puts downward pressure on prices, which they don't need right now. With such verbal intervention, I expect it'll be difficult for euro dollar to break through 140, and I see it moving somewhat lower, particularly if the action in Europe's eastern backyard starts to heat up. Uh, the calendar is relatively light during the European day. We just have UK trade for January and Germany's final CPI for February. Neither is a big market mover. In the U.S., the uh, producer price index, the core producer price index, is forecast to accelerate slightly to 1.4 percent year-on-year from 1.3, while the U of Mer Michigan preliminary consumer sentiment index for March is expected to be up marginally to 82.0 from 81.6. But I think the Ukraine developments are likely to dominate ahead of Sunday's referendum, and the fish will keep swimming. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com. You can also follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Marshall Gittler, Global Head of FX Strategy at INFX, wishing you solid trading.